I have with me Trish Costello from Portfolio. Trish, it's so nice to see you again. Great to see you, Laura. Trish has been in the entrepreneurial ecosystem for a very long time, yes. helping many, many entrepreneurs. But this time, she's on the other side. She, you're an entrepreneur yourself. I am. I've launched a new company called Portfolio. Tell me more about Portfolio. Well, in some ways, I'm still helping entrepreneurs, in fact. So Portfolio is a new platform that basically unlocks a new class of investor. So we're focused on the connected consumer uh, and enabling them to be uh, an investor in companies they believe in, especially consumer facing companies. Right. So you're a crowdfunding site? Well, in a way, and that crowdfunding term is so large now. So what we actually do is, is let people invest smaller amounts of money, so an equity investment in return for stock, and we especially like to engage those influencers that can make a difference in the company. So they're actually value add investors. So you can come in, invest a small amount of money in the company um, around a team or a product that you really believe in, and then you use your social networks and your combined buying power with others like yourself to help make those companies successful. Now, when did this, this firm launch? Uh, so we've been working on it for about nine months. But we officially launched uh, just two weeks ago at the big launch conference in San Francisco. And how was it received? Well, it was a, 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 very, exciting, uh, a very exciting time because there were 9,000 people there. Uh, and it's mostly young tech men uh, that are involved in this. So we were a little out of the ordinary. And uh, in fact, in our, uh, in our sector, there were uh, six VC judges, and we were selected number one out of that group of 10 by five of the six judges. That's fabulous. Of course, your target market is actually women entrepreneurs. It, it is. It's women, definitely women investors. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're open about the kind of companies we actually invest in, although most of them have, uh, have a, a woman as one of the co-founders. And that is important to us because we're looking at consumer markets where women are the influencers, where having women and evangelists can really make the difference in your company. And in that case, if you don't have a woman on the team, it'd be really difficult to understand that market. After all, they can control most of the household purse strings, so to speak, the budget. They, they do. In fact, a lot of people don't realize that women actually buy 85% of all consumer products. And, and when I say products, I mean broadly. So, you know, you look at Etsy or Pinterest or Facebook or Twitter, that's majority of women that have made those companies that are the, the major customers behind those. And, um, and if you add that up, actually just what the American woman buys is greater than the GDP of India and China combined. Wow, say that again for us, yes. Trish. Just what women buy in the U.S. market. So if, you, if women, U.S. women were their own economy, they would be greater than the GDP of China and India combined. It's a huge market. That's a huge market and a powerful market. So it's kind of counterintuitive why women entrepreneurs don't get funded more. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, women entrepreneurs in the VC world probably get an average of 5% of all the venture capital. Tell me more about your yes. thinking here. Yes, and there's a, we're in such an interesting time right now, Laura, and, and my belief actually is that we've gone through a major, we're in the midst of a major shift, though a lot of people don't see it yet, and that's why it's so exciting to be working in this space. Because not only are women the, this tremendous buying power, and, and they're sharing as well, because when a woman finds a product that she likes, 92% of us will share that with 171 other people. Wow. So that's the, the whole idea, that concept of a viral growth engine, it's women. Right. It's women that are sharing those. So they're buying and they're sharing. They're creating markets. They're market makers around the companies and products they love. On the other side, there's another historic shift that's happened. In the U.S., women own about 55% of all private wealth now. Never before in recorded history have women owned the majority of private wealth. So, and they've, in the last 18 months, according to Jeffrey Saul at University of New Hampshire, their numbers in angel groups have doubled to 22%. So you have women with wealth wanting to step up as angels and invest, 
and they're also the buyers. So you, know, you think about that alignment, it just it absolutely makes sense. You know, so it, you know, and, and one thing about this you were talking about that some of this is, there's, a, there's this, a jarring story when you're looking at only 5% of women get VC money. Only, I think it's 4.2% of VCs are women. So that is, if that was the only, the only numbers we had, we'd think, geez, what, what's gonna happen? You know, right. there's just today, 2014, and that's the numbers of VCs. But when we see what's happening at the grassroots, where women are stepping up as angels, that's what's going, that's what gives me hope. That's what's causing me to think that women are now ready to step up, separate from those institutions. They're going to be green lighting the companies and teams and products that they want to see in the marketplace. And when that happens, really, we shift the world. Absolutely. So in shifting the world, this is clearly, you're doing this in the US. Have you seen any of these trends globally? Because I know you have a world view on these. Mm -hmm. uh. Well, in that whole, this whole concept of collaborative investing or, or crowd investing, the U.S. really isn't the leader in this. This has been happening around the world. So, mm -hmm. you know, it started in Australia. Um, it's all over Europe. Um, you know, all throughout the Nordic states and Italy and Hong Kong. So, so we've been able to see what's happening there. And, and it's the same kind of thing where women are taking a lead role. Indiegogo, you know, this is an equity, but it's, you know, people contributing or pre-buying, 48% of those successful companies are women, women-led companies. So it really is a, it's a, it's a movement in the U.S. that's just starting on the equity side, but it's really worldwide. That's great. So if a woman wants to be an investor, what should she do in going to portfolio? I'd love to have her sign in to portfolio. Um, and we'll, we'll take men as well, but it's, it's designed for women. You'll see as you go on, it's quite different. Uh, and, and, I, and women are investing differently, but we would like to have them sign on to Portfolio. And we can also um, provide them all, all kinds of resources to, to have the confidence to step up as an investor. Um, my belief is that women know everything they really need to know to be investors as long as they invest in the space where they have passion right. and interest. And so we can provide those guidelines for them. Mm -hmm. Um, and they can start with small amounts of money. You know, I have 23-year-old twin daughters. Uh, each of them are putting in $100 a month together. And they'll have $2,400 a year, and they're investing in two companies. So over five years, you know, as young women, they will have a little portfolio of 10 early stage companies. And, and that's what we need to know to, to learn this. And, you know, for some of us, it might be 1000 a month or 10000 a month. The, the dollar amount doesn't matter right now. What matters is stepping up and, and dipping your toe in the water and learning how, how to be an investor and to back the companies you believe in. Is it proper for me to ask in the two weeks since you've launched how many people have signed on to the site? We have about 500 investors. We're thrilled about that. Uh, That's an enormous growth, zero yeah. to 500 in <laughs> yes. two weeks. Yes. Well, it's been very exciting. And I think we're going to see really rapid viral growth because uh, women are very interested in knowing how to do this. Um, you know, this isn't a transaction. This isn't getting your mutual fund account. It's, it's really joining a team. It's really buying in to the vision and the dream that entrepreneurs have and wanting wanting to be a part of it. Absolutely. Someone said to me today they talked about a tribe and I guess what you're you're doing is creating your own tribe of women investors to support other women and men companies too mm -hmm. but getting women in the same economic position as anyone else. I couldn't have said it better. Trish Costello thanks for being here. You guys need to go look up Portfolio. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>